Hi everyone, now we'll talk about Laravel session. So first we'll understand what is session, why we need it. After that to implement session, we have to make a login form, router and controller. And then we'll see how we can store data in session, how we can get and remove data from the session. At last, we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist from the description box of this part. All right, so now let's move on first question. What is session? And guys, keep in mind some points there. First one is, uh, session is not only the feature of PHP and Laravel. So almost every programming language has this feature. Second thing, so whenever we are storing data, so main purpose of session is storing the data, right? So whenever we are storing some data in session, it doesn't mean like we are storing this data in the database. So database and session both are completely different things. Third one, whenever we are storing data in session, database, uh, sorry, whenever we are storing data in uh, session, the data should be in a limited amount. We cannot store data like uh, 1 GB, 2 GB in the session, or let's say if you have 1 lakh users or 1 lakh uh, uh, some rows data, then you should not store in the session. It will make your application slower and better if you have large amount of data, then only keep it in the uh, database all right okay so now let's talk about definition so see session is a way to store data and we can access this data after storing the session in the any page of our application for example we have a login page and whenever we are entering email id and password that time we just stored the that email id in the session after that we can access this email id in any page of our application maybe on the profile page setting page or any page we can access there all right okay so uh, there are two more things first one session is stored in the server side uh, of your application but how that browser get to know like there is some data stored in the server side for this system for that actually uh, browser manage some cookies this these cookies actually hit to the server and then server tell there is some data stored in the session for this system all right so now let's uh, see how we can implement the session in laravel and for that we need some view controller thing so let's make them first so i am making one controller first php artisan make controller and controller name so let's say my controller name is user controller l as always we just make a same name for controller after that i'm making a page uh, view php artisan make view and view name is let's say login and after that let's make one more uh, view which is profile so what we will do we will make a form in the login page then we will store data in session with the help of user controller and then we will access this uh, data in the profile page all right from the session okay so now what we'll do uh, let's open the uh, login.blade.php and there i am making a small form so just putting there user login after that let's make a form and the form could be a post type then uh, let me define some input fields and name of them let's say uh, user and placeholder is enter name after that let's close the some br tags so that we can maintain some space better you can use css rather than these uh, br tags right and then second field could be a password and there we can mention enter password right and let's make a button and the text will be login there and now let's create a route for this so i am making a route for this view and there i can mention the url is login and view name is also login after that let me just put there uh, okay so i think uh, php artisan server is not running so let me just make it running then here you can see that this form right so now where we can submit this form 
figure that form but how we have to submit it for that uh let me achha, there is a one more thing that i we just forget so we have to use their csrf token also right so because if we will not use their csrf token then due to some security reason it will show 419 page expiry error all right so after that what we need to do we have to make a function inside our user controller and let's say function name is login right and there we can return for now let's see we are returning login function or something all right so after that what we can do there so let's go to the web.php and create a route for this right and yeah for user controller we have to use this namespace to import it after that let's say user controller and then let me create a one route and the method will be the post right because in this form we are using their post method then uh, because this is a post method then we can say that login even maybe you can ask one question there like view and post both method has same url see that is possible in laravel if you have uh, two different request method then you can put the same url for them and then in a second parameter let's make array just use their user controller comma class and in the second one let's say login all right so after this let's try to access but uh, this login should be present in the action also right so let's see if we are able to call this function i'm mentioning there peter and password is let's say one two three four logging over there you can see that login function is called so what data we are sending in the uh, form request so how we can get to know so we can use this get request type of a parameter request and let's simply request return this dollar request input right so let's come back there and now you'll see i'm mentioning there bruce as a user and uh, a one two three four five six is a password so clicking on the login now you can see that this token is generated by csrf token user is bruce and password is this so we are getting the old data from the form to our user controller so next thing is i want to store this data uh, so let's say i just want to get to name then you can mention their user and you will get the name of user right here you can see that so i want to store this username in the session so for that what we can do you just need to do one thing dollar request session and uh, let me just make us fix this typo session and then there is a, again a function in this session which is put now let's put the session that you want to create which is user and the things that we want to store so this user i want to store and that's put in a second parameter only yeah right so now this line will store this data in the uh, you can say that uh, session but how will get to know so if you will refresh there you will find we have nothing to display there but if you want to see it in the next line you will you what you can do echo session and then you can mention there with the session uh, user like this and if i will just display there now you can see that we are get, getting this browse, uh, Bruce there, right? This is coming from the session because we stored the user key in the session. That's why we are able to access it. If I just put their user one, it will not work. You will see it will not work. All right. Perfect. But I don't want to display this. Uh, you can see that session data there. I want to display it on the profile page. So now let's create. A, let's just add some tag there. Let me add there one tag profile page or something right so for that what we can do now uh, let's we have we have to make a route for this so let me make route which is profile like this so if i just access this profile from there you will see this is working perfectly fine so better is now we can redirect our user controller let's mention their return 
redirect and there mention your URL profile. So once you will just log in any user. So I'm again logging logging in with the Tony. Keep in mind now we are using the Tony and password is one two three four six seven something. Clicking on the login and now you can see that we are on the profile page. So here how we can access this session data. Okay, this is very simple. So just simply use their h2 or h1 tag and inside this use double curly braces session and just simply put their user your session key and now you are here with the tony all right so what i want to just mention there one uh, you can see that if condition so at the rate if so let's say if session user is there then we can print this let's say welcome then username else and uh, with the else we have to again use at the rate because this is a template and there you can say that no user found in session right and now let's close and if and there you can see that welcome tony and see if I am just open it in the incognito mode because in incognito mode the session will not work right now right then you will see no user found in session so let me just mention fix this typo no right and if I will just go for the login putting some name let's say Bruce password is one two three four clicking on the login now you can see that this session is created now and Bruce is visible so what actually happening there so in a first we are sending a request from blade this file blade uh, login.blade.php this request will go to the this uh, url and this url will load the user controller page this function store the data in local storage and redirect it to the profile page and in this profile page we have this if uh, case if session is present for user then this will display this otherwise it will say there is a no session all right great but now you can see that we have a session for the Tony but I want to make a login functionality so that we can remove the session and we can learn how we can remove this session all right so for that what we can do uh, at the last I am making their anchor tag mentioning their logout and you will see we have this logout function so if I click over there let's say logout nothing is happening this is going to the logout page but there is a no url present for this so let's make this url also so let me make a get url for log out why we are making a get because see for this uh logout uh, thing we are not making uh, calling any form right so this is just be a get request only and then make a log out function and now move to the uh, you can say that function uh, user profile dot php file there make a function for log out and inside this let's remove the data from session so for that what we need to do simply mention session and then pull right and in the pull you can mention your key that you are using for storing the data which is user right and after that we can redirect it again to the profile page right so now you will see we have login page I'm just entering Siddhu which is user password is one two three four five clicking on the login and now we are on the uh, profile page if I just click on the logout we'll back to this page again but that there will be uh, no session so it will go to the else condition there and no user found in session will be written on the screen click over there see that all right so we get to know how we can store get and uh, remove data from local storage but still there is a one thing can we create two session the answer is yes and can we store uh, like there we are storing only one name so can we store multiple thing in the session like username password and everything yeah both thing is possible so what I'm going to do there I'm just making a all data session and there I will store the all of these uh, data like user 
password token and everything right so if you will again log out mm, why logout is not working let me see yeah so i just need to put there this logout thing mm, it's fine actually there is no issue but thing is if for no user i just need to make a one more a href and i'm putting there login and login for this and now we have this login option so if you just click there i'm coming back to the user profile putting there bruce password is one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then just click on the login and now you can see that we are on this page and with that time data old data session is also stored but how we'll get to know like old data is stored so again go back to the profile and now because there are multiple data so if i've simply put there like this and then because key name is uh simply old data so if i just try to print this it will not work actually right it will just show an error like uh, it should be string the array is given there so better than you can simply get it with the print r now it should work we are getting old data and if you want to let's say get only one data maybe you can just use their uh, user then you will see you are getting one data bruce and maybe you can get the password it will still work fine right and maybe uh, you can see that there is a one extra one why this is coming because we are using